My name is Veronica and I'm working with the Hope Bloom Solar Onions. We're getting two solar onions. They're gonna be in the Uniac Square and we're gonna use them for our fair food market. Uh, we're planning of having green labs to teach kids about renewable energy. We ordered the solar onions, so we're getting them this week and we're gonna start doing workshops this summer. It's really important to bring new technology to marginalized communities. It's really important that they have uh, these like special things that are happening in other places, clean energy, and they have contact with it. They feel like they deserve it. They feel like they are part of it. It makes them feel empowered. And it's it's there every day. Is it their day-to-day -day life is using clean energy, renewable energy uh, to charge their phones, to like learn about things. In the future, I hope that they are gonna be climate stewards and they are gonna be using this uh, in their day-to-day -day life and they aim to get clean energy in the future. My name is Karina Mueller and I'm working on a project with Billet Workshop. It's called Tiny Passive Homes. We're trying to develop a house design that is small, affordable and energy efficient, while also encouraging women and people from different backgrounds to join us during the building process. And we're hoping to make these plans available to our community for free. We're building our first passive house in East Lawrencetown. If you compare it to code minimum standards, this house is about 75% more energy efficient than normal homes. So the goal is to get to net zero, which means that the homes produce as much energy as they consume. And in Canada, that means lots of insulation, thick walls and air tightness. People are willing to be engaged. They like to talk to us. They want to have an impact. They want to see a solution. Currently, we're talking to members of our community about housing needs and what this design should implement, creating relationships with the city and um, planning teams to talk about zonings and create some change. My name's Emma Norton. I work with Recover, and I'm also working with Rodney Small on this project. Rodney Small is the executive director at One North End. So the deep retrofit industry is taking off as Canada and Nova Scotia seek to meet their climate goals. And we know that the time to include African Nova Scotians in that industry uh, was yesterday. We want to create safe places for our African Nova Scotians to grow with the industry because I know firsthand the challenges that a young African Nova Scotian faces in simply trying to be successful in society. So we're talking green jobs like engineering, um, LiDAR scanning for computer automated drawings, and also our construction and architecture design team. It is an initiative that allows us to focus on our low carbon community goals while simultaneously closing an employment gap for African Nova Scotians between the ages of 18 and 35. Through this project, we're hoping to bring more African Nova Scotian youth into the green retrofit industry using job shadowing. So we want to bring a community building to net zero. So we're, we're doing this in partnership with Halifax. There are people out there willing to uh, teach you and grow together. So that's at the forefront of the agenda of that initiative is creating a place of understanding and learning. My name's Liam Cook, uh, I work with Navigate Energy. This is just a quick visual of where folks are across the globe in carbon emissions per capita. Anyone point out Canada? Are your eyes good enough? Yeah, we're number two. Uh, so we are the second highest emitter per capita when it comes to greenhouse gas emissions. Navigate Energy is really just built to help simplify that process towards decarbonization or simplify the process of helping people use less energy. The ownership of North Brewing's always wanted to, or always had that vision of net zero brewing and how do we get there. With solar you should be able to net out the electricity consumption in the business for incentives and like rebates. Right now there's a federal tax credit, 30%. They've got the electric vehicle, the electric vehicle charging out front, a uh, number of projects that have made their heating systems more efficient, projects to make the brewing process more efficient and recover waste heat off that, uh, but it's an ongoing process to get to net zero brewing. We make the journey for building owners really simple to use less energy. 
The best thing about that is it's good for the environment, it's great for their bills, they have more money to spend on other areas of their business, and lastly, folks that work in that business, the customers that come into that business feel more comfortable in their space.